In this video we're going to learn about the equation of a circle. As usual there are some exam questions in the video's description that you can try afterwards. Take the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared. This corresponds to a circle where the centre is 0, 0 or the origin and a radius r. For example if we had this circle here the equation would be x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared since the radius is 3. And of course 3 squared is just 9. Now what about if we move the circle so the centre is in a different place? What would happen to the equation? So in this one we've now got a centre which is 2, 3, but the radius is still the same, it's still 3. Now since the radius is still the same, the right hand side of this equation doesn't change. So it still equals 3 squared, or equals 9, but the left hand side does. This circle would have equation x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 3 all squared equals 9. Notice the x coordinate of the centre was 2, and then we did x minus 2, and the y coordinate of the centre was 3, and we did y minus 3. More generally then, we could write, if the centre is AB, and the radius is R, the equation will be x minus A all squared, plus y minus B all squared, equals R squared. Let's try and find the equations of some different circles. So let's start with this one. Well you can see the centre is at 2, 1. So the x coordinate of the centre is 2, so we do x minus 2 all squared, and then we add to this y minus 1 all squared equals r squared, and the radius of this one is 4, so it's 4 squared, which equals 16. What about this circle? Well this time the x coordinate of the centre is negative 4, so the opposite sign of negative 4 is positive 4, so we do x plus 4 all squared, the y coordinate of the centre is 3, so y minus 3 all squared, and the radius of this circle is 2, so equals 2 squared, which is 4. Now for this circle, this time the x coordinate of the centre is 0, so we do x plus 0 all squared, which of course is just x squared. And the y coordinate of the centre is negative 3, remember we're going to do the opposite sign, so y plus 3 all squared equals the radius squared, and the radius of this one's 3, so it equals 3 squared, which equals 9. You may also need to be able to draw a circle given the equation. So if we had one with this equation here, you can see we've got x minus 3 all squared, and then y plus 1 all squared. So if we do the opposite signs of these, we get the centre. So the centre is at positive 3, negative 1. On the right hand side of the equation, we have the number 4. This is equal to r squared. So if we square root 4, we find the radius, which is 2. So we just draw it with a radius of 2. Now let's have a look at some exam style questions that you may be faced with. So for this one we've got a circle, we're told the centre and we're also told a point that's on the circle, and we need to work out the equation of the circle. Since we know the centre is 1, negative 3, we know it starts with x minus 1 all squared, add y plus 3 all squared, equals r squared. So we're almost there already, we just need to find the radius. To do this you can substitute in the point that you're given in the question. So the x coordinate of this point is 7 and the y coordinate is negative 11. So if we replace x with 7 and y with negative 11, we can find r. So 7 minus 1 all squared plus negative 11 plus 3 all squared equals r squared. 7 take away 1 is just 6, so this is 6 squared. Negative 11 add 3 is negative 8, so negative 8 squared equals r squared. 6 squared is 36 and negative 8 squared is positive 64. So r squared just equals 100. If you square root both sides, you'll find that r equals plus or minus 10, but of course you can't have a negative radius, so r equals 10. Now that we've found the radius, we can just rewrite this first bit again, including the radius. So it's x minus 1 all squared, plus y plus 3 all squared, equals the radius squared, but we know the radius is 10, so 10 squared is 100. And that's the answer to the question. For this question we're told that AB is the diameter of a circle and we're given the coordinates of A and B and we need to work out the equation of the circle. I find this one's a bit easier if you draw a sketch. So A is here at 0, negative 10 and B is at 14, 38. And we're told that the line AB is the diameter of the circle so it looks a little bit like this. Now to find the equation of the circle we need two things, we need the centre and we need the radius. 
We can find the centre C by finding the midpoint of the line AB, since we know that AB is the diameter. To do this we'll use the usual midpoint formula, we'll add together the x coordinates, so 0 and 14, and then divide by 2, which gives you 7, and we'll do the same with the y coordinates, so this negative 10 and 38, negative 10 add 38, divide by 2, gives you 14. So the coordinates of C must be 7, 14. This tells us the equation of the circle must be x take away 7 all squared plus y minus 14 squared equals r squared. We now just need to find the radius. We'll do the same as what we did in the last question. We'll just pick a point that we know is on the circle and substitute in those points. I'll use point B which is 14, 38. So the x coordinate is 14, so 14 minus 7 all squared plus the y coordinate 38 minus 14 all squared equals r squared. 14 minus 7 is 7, so 7 squared, and 38 minus 14 is 24, so 24 squared, equals r squared. 7 squared is 49, and 24 squared is 576. If you add these together you get 625, and then if you square root both sides you get plus or minus 25. Again we can't have a negative radius though, so it's 25. Now that we know the centre and the radius we can write the equation. It's x minus 7 all squared plus y minus 14 squared, equals r squared, and that's 25 squared, which is 625. If you're given the equation of a circle, and a point that's on the circle, you need to be able to find out the equation of the tangent to the circle at this point. You will have met this in GCSE maths as well, but this now applies to circles of this form, rather than just x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So let's take this circle. We can find the centre of this circle, since we have the equation, We've got negative 2 and negative 5, so the centre will be at 2, 5. We're also told that point P is on the circle. To find the equation of a tangent you need two things. You need the gradient of the tangent and a point that's on the tangent. So the tangent's going to be drawn here, you can clearly see the point P is on the tangent at 4, 11. We just need the gradient of this line. To do this we'll first of all work out the gradient of the radius. To do this I'm going to draw a right angled triangle. The horizontal distance from 2 to 4 is 2, and the vertical distance from 5 to 11 is 6. So the gradient of this radius is 6 over 2, which is equal to 3. Since the radius meets a tangent at a right angle, the gradient of the tangent will be the negative reciprocal of this, so negative 1 third. We can now find the equation of the tangent using y equals mx plus c. So we know the gradient, that's negative one third, and we just need to substitute in the coordinates of one of the points on the line. We know the point P, 4, 11 is on the line, so we'll substitute x for 4 and y for 11. So y is 11 equals negative one third times 4, which is the x coordinate, plus c. Negative one third times 4 is negative four thirds, and if you add four thirds to both sides, you'll get c equals 11 plus four thirds, if we change the 11 to 33 over 3, and then add these, you get 37 over 3. So we know this equation is y equals negative 1 third x, and the c value we just found, plus 37 over 3. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Now go and try the exam questions, check out what video I think you should watch next, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.